What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Cody Bags, and today my dudes I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a very simple and efficient crop farm. So let's get started on today's video. To get started on this farm we're gonna require the following materials. Eight water buckets, three stacks of blocks of your choice, two stacks of dirt, one stack of glass of your choice, two hoppers, a handful of redstone, one redstone repeater, one button, eight dispensers, two chests, and then any crop of your choice. You could do seeds for wheat, carrots, potatoes, or beetroot. On the side here are two water buckets. You're gonna need just two pails of water to make an infant water pool to lay down some water to keep your crops hydrated. So let's get started and build this farm. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and build a double chest right here and behind it, we're gonna go ahead and crouch and place our hopper on the first chest. To verify your hopper is connected correctly, you will see a tube coming off of the hopper in whatever direction the chest is. If your hopper is placing the wrong way, it will not go into the chest and your items will not be collected properly. Next thing, we're gonna go eight blocks backwards from this chest. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. Then we're gonna put one block here and one block here. We can hop up on top, on top of the chest, crouch, place a piece of glass, and let's go seven back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make that eight. So that way there's two blocks right here. Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and grab your block of choice and beside the hopper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that, and nine. So it should look like this so far. All right, so we're ready to put our field in. Our first field, we're gonna start back here, place one piece of dirt, place another piece of dirt, and we're gonna go eight across. So we're gonna go all the way to the glass just to make it easy, and we're gonna go eight back. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're just gonna go ahead and meet ends, and then we'll fill in the center. All right, there we have it. We have an eight by eight field. Our next field, we are gonna do one up here, and we're gonna do an eight by seven. So we're gonna go eight across here, just like that. Then we're gonna go seven back. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And then we're gonna meet ends, just like this, and fill it in. There we have it. So first field, again, is an eight by eight. Second field is an eight across by seven back. Now we're gonna take our block of choice and we're gonna make a trough for the water. There's basically a little path here using our blocks. So we're gonna make these paths around the whole farm. That way the water can sit beside the actual dirt. That way it keeps the field hydrated. Now this back one here, we're gonna go up like that. And then we're just gonna fill in the back side here. And then we'll start from the front again, make our little water area here going up like that. And then back here, just like that. So it should look like this, pretty simple so far. Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and make a wall that our water is gonna stay in because we don't want the water splashing about. So we're gonna just gonna make that wall, kitty corner that block there. That way our hopper is protected and the water doesn't get all over the place. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this side. Go ahead and make a wall. That way, again, the water stays inside of the trough here. It's got its own little pathway and then put a block there again. All right, pretty simple so far. This is the top view, just in case you need help. Um, the dirt matches up with the walls here. Dirt matches up with the walls here. All right, so we're gonna grab our water buckets. We're gonna make a two by two hole in the ground. Put a water bucket here, water bucket here, and then we're gonna go and start. So we're gonna put a water bucket here. It's gonna flow. We're gonna put another water bucket down there. It's gonna flow to the end. Another water bucket here and another water bucket right here. That way water is all in these spots. Make sure there's water in these spots. All right, so we're good to cover this up now. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and just cover this up and do a two high wall. That way our crops don't actually fly out of the farm. Again, do that to this side, cover up the water, and then just do a two high wall. And just do that to the other side as well, a two high wall all the way down the farm here. That way the water is covered up and our crops don't go over the, over the actual wall. And then at the end here, add those walls there. Just like that. So that way your whole farm is encased. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our dispensers. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I want you to put water buckets in every single one of these dispensers. All right, once your water buckets are in the dispensers, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our block of choice and put it over top of the dispensers. And we're actually gonna put a block behind the dispensers just like this and then break that one at the end. And then we're gonna meet these blocks up here like that. And then we're gonna grab our redstone out and then we're gonna make a redstone path with a button. 
Okay, go ahead and grab your redstone and put it on all these blocks back here. That way you're going to be able to power up these dispensers and the water will flow out and auto crop for you. Going all the way till the end here. Now at the end, you want to decide where you want to place your button. So I'm going to drop this block out, put a block down here, put a piece of redstone there and then put the button here. Now, when you click this button, you'll see the redstone path travels, but it doesn't make it all the way to the dispenser. So we actually have to place a repeater down. Now I'm going to go two blocks right here. So basically two blocks after the jump and we're going to try it. We're going to test it, make sure the water flows all the way. Okay. All of our buckets are dispensing. So that repeater position is correct. If your buckets aren't dispensing, then, you know, you'll obviously have to adjust the repeater accordingly. So you either put it this way or that way. Um, well, you'd put it this way. You'd put it to the left one more. But it should work fine as long as you've used the same blueprint as this one. All right, now we can go ahead and just put some glass walls here just to make it look a little prettier. And our last water bucket is going to be in this corner right there. Now, I said you can use two hoppers. It's totally up to you guys. But if you use two hoppers, you can break that block there, crouch, and place another hopper there. That way it's connected to this chest. All right, so we're going to turn the farm off. And as you can see, the, the crops are going to go back to normal. Now what we're going to do is we are going to quickly grab our hoe and we're going to till the land and plant some seeds. All right, dude. So as you can see, all the wheat or, you know, carrots, potatoes, beetroot is grown in. And all you're going to do is go and click this button and watch the magic happen. As you can see, all the crops are getting harvested automatically. And they are now being placed down into the hoppers, collected. And here we go, ready to check this out. We look in this chest real quick, and boom, it's all getting collected up, slowly but surely making its way down into that chest. Once we click the button again, we can go and replant the field, and then you can do it all over again once it grows in. All right, my dudes, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And if you guys want me to make another farm, don't forget to comment down below what farm you want to see next. Have yourself an amazing day, my dudes. Peace out.